Hello my future mathematicians, this is Miss Hearn and let's get started. In this exercise, which is taken from Contemporary Calculus by Dale Hoffman, um, we're going to find the point and angle of intersection for two vector valued curves. We have u of t equals 5t squared i plus 9j plus 2 minus tk and v of s is equal to 2 plus si plus 3sj plus 6 minus sk. So the first thing we have to do is figure out where these two curves intersect. So I'm not saying that they look like this, but let's pretend that in our uh, three space here, we have these two curves and maybe one of them looks like this and the other one maybe it goes underneath this one and comes back up intersects with it and goes off i have no idea but in any case they intersect somewhere so first thing we need to do is to find that point of intersection and so what we're going to do is we're going to say well we need the i component to be equal to the i component the j component to be equal to the j component and the k component to be equal to the k component so essentially we have a system of equations to solve we want 5t squared to be equal to 2 plus s we want 9 to be equal to 3s and we want 2 minus t to be equal to 6 minus s. Okay, so the first thing I notice um, after inspecting these equations is that there is one equation that only has one variable in it. So let's go ahead and solve that one and see that s is actually equal to 3. That's the only way that we can get an overlap in these two functions. And let's figure out what t might go with that. Let's plug s equals 3 into each one of these equations and see what happens. So if I plug s equals 3 into the equation 5t squared equals 2 plus s, we're going to have 5t squared equals 2 plus 3. So 5t squared is 5. So t squared is 1, so t could be either positive or negative 1. On the other hand, if I plug s equals 3 into the equation 2 minus t equals 6 minus s, we have 2 minus t equals 6 minus 3, which means 2 minus t equals 3, so negative t equals 1, which means t equals negative 1. So we cannot use t equals 1 because it wouldn't satisfy the other equation. So we have to use t equals negative 1. So what that's telling us is that our parameters, s and t, have to be 3 and negative 1 respectively in order to have an overlap. Where would they overlap? Well, so u of negative 1 is going to be 5 times negative 1 squared i plus 9j plus 2 minus negative 1 times k. Or in other words, that's going to be 5i plus 9j plus 3k. And you'll notice if you plugged 3 into v, you would get exactly the same thing. So these guys are meeting at the point which is also the tip of a vector, 5, 9, 3. Okay, now the next thing we want to know is what's the angle between these two guys at that point. So for each one of these, it's got a tangent vector coming off of it at that point that's indicating the direction of the motion at that moment. So imagine maybe one tangent vector going like this, another tangent vector going here. So one tangent vector for each of these curves. And what we're interested in is the angle theta between these two vectors. This is in blue here, v of s, so in blue, so this vector would be v prime of s, but at that point. So it's v prime of when s is 3. And then the little tangent vector over here to you, that's your u prime when t is negative 1. So we want to know the angle between those two. 
So how do you find the angle between two vectors? Um, remember that if you have two vectors, A and B, and you want to know the angle between them, we know that the cosine of theta is going to be the dot product of A and B divided by the product of their magnitudes. So we're going to use that idea, but we're going to actually be finding uh, not the angle between A and B, but the angle between U prime T and V prime of S. Let's find, we have to find the derivatives first. So the derivative of U, we go component by component. Derivative of 5T squared is 10T. And then we have uh, derivative of 9 is 0, and then derivative of 2 minus t is negative 1. And then for v prime of s, we have derivative of 2 plus s is just 1, and then derivative of 3s is 3, and then derivative of 6 minus s is negative 1. All right, but we want these evaluated at the point where they intersect. So that means that we're going to plug in negative 1 for t, we're gonna get negative 10i plus zero j plus negative one k. And we're gonna plug in three for s. And we're gonna still get one i plus three j minus one k. So those are our two vectors. And now we are going to find theta. So cosine of theta, the angle between them is going to be, i um, going to write it a little more compactly, negative 10, 0, negative 1, dot product with 1, 3, negative 1, divided by the norms or the magnitudes of each. So that's going to be uh, negative 10 squared, but I'm going to write it as 10 squared since it's going to be positive anyway, plus 0 squared plus 1 squared square root and then times the square root of one squared plus three squared plus negative one squared. Alrighty, so remember the dot product is gonna give you a scalar. You multiply each component and then add those products together. So negative 10 times one is negative 10, zero times three is zero, and negative one times negative one is positive one. And then in the denominator, we have the square root of 101 times the square root of 11. All right, so that's going to be, uh, let's see, negative nine in the numerator over the square root of 1,111 in the denominator. So for theta, we get the inverse cosine of that value, which is about 105.6 degrees or 1.844 radians. So we have found the point of intersection and the angle between the two vector valued functions at that point. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.